Back now with Harper, who is a gorgeous mini go golden doodle. Uh, Greg is here with yes. Olive. Yes. Right. Olive is what is Olive? Olive is a, a lab mix, a yeah. lab uh, Ridgeback. And they're out uh, really walking. Yeah. Put the mic up. You got to put the mic up too close to. There you go. Right yep. there is good. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, listen, when you're going through these tough uh, storms here, especially the blizzard of 2015, a lot of attention are being paid to animals. Harper, mommy's right there. You're good. You're good. All right. So we're back with Tom Salt as well, who is uh, president and CEO of the Columbus Zoo. So, Tom, these guys are out walking their doggies. Harper here has on uh, some little booties, little footies. Uh, so does Olive, because uh, the sand and the salt can actually cause, uh, can hurt their paws, right? Oh, there's no question about that. When people are going out to buy types of uh, salt for their driveway or their sidewalk, make sure you look at the bag because it says pet friendly. And that's what you want to make sure you get because it is very sore on their pads. Right now I have a mountain lion right here and their, their foot, their paws, they're huge. It's really good for them when they're walking through the snow. They actually have fur on the bottom of their feet. So it's like a built-in insulation. Um, but it's also very sensitive. Yeah. And uh, for our pets at home, yeah. if they are walking on sand or salt, it, it will really irritate them. And then that's going to be even harder for them to walk in the snow. Hey, Greg, do uh, Harper and Olive, do they get stir crazy when it's cold like this? Do, they, do you take them out less? Harper, oh, oh, no, mommy's they, right they there. Love, they love the cold. They're probably twice as active, <laughs> as you can see. Yeah. They're probably twice as active in the cold. No, he's good. Uh, and they love the snow. They All love right. playing in the snow. All right, there uh, you go, Harper. Makes, makes our lives easier because we have to focus less on throwing the ball. They just run and play and, uh, as you can see, mess about. Oh, yeah. What about, because when we came, Harper had eaten some snow. Had, Harper buries his face in the snow, right? He loves it. Yeah. Is it safe for them to do that? Yeah, you're good, Harper. Tom, is it safe for them to do that? Well, no, you know, it, it's, it all comes down to when you're walking them around. If you're in Central Park and you're out off the beaten path, you, you really don't want the animals to be eating all that snow because you don't know exactly what's in it. If, if there is some chemicals that they've put on the sidewalks or the roads and it splashes into the area, you know, we're not, we're, we're not wanting them to uh, ingest something that we don't know what they have. But if you're out in the woods, you're walking around, yeah. um, sure, they're going to have fun. It, they're, they're great pets. They love to play. And uh, it's good that they're getting activity. You know, when you were talking about earlier, when you have Thank cold you. weather and you have a lot of snow going on, a lot of times you don't want to go out and walk your pet. So when you oh. give them the opportunity, it's fun right. to let them play, let them have a lot of exercise. Does it make a difference because, oh, whoa, oh, Olive, Olive is shorter fur and Harper has a uh, bit thicker fur. Does it make a difference because uh, my doggy has a coat and does that really make a difference with dogs? Absolutely it does and that's a great question. When we talk about like a Siberian Husky or an animal that would be found or breed that has a very thick fur, um, the thing you don't want to do is take them to the groomer and have them shave that all off. That's built-in insulation. Um, so it's important that we look at the breed, we look at the animal. You know, we have some uh, dogs that will have very short uh, fur. And, you know, I see a lot of times people walking around with dogs with sweaters, booties. Hey, when it's, when it's uh, three degrees outside, we would want that coat. They want that coat as well. It's very important. Some, uh, some people have outside dogs, right? I grew up in the country and we had outside dogs. And, and when it got, you know, extremely cold temperatures are really, really hot, we'd bring them inside. But you have to do that. You can't leave animals out in this condition, right? In these conditions. I completely agree with you. And matter of fact, there are many cities that have ordinance or state laws that say, look, we want you to be protected, but we also want to think about our pets at home. So, yes, when it is in the teens, when it's getting down to single digits, you want to make sure that the pet has shelter, it has bedding in that shelter, and you want to make sure they have fresh water. That's very important. But when it gets really cold, folks, we have to bring the animals inside. Yeah, absolutely. So. Thank you. We're going to leave you tonight with a shot of our CNN Tonight pets. But Harper is a, is a mama's boy, and mom is just off camera, and he, he can't wait to get back over there to mom. You're about to get it back. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Harper. Thanks, Olive. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>